adaptive battery. So let's go there. And by the way, this is not just a Pixel 6 thing, but I know this has been brought up by a number of people who just picked up a Pixel 6. So I'm going to go there and talk about that. So battery, let's go to battery, battery, and adaptive preferences. So you can turn this on and off. Now, what adaptive battery is, is basically it is Google software learning how you use your phone. And it does that because it just, over time, it knows what apps you use at what time. And because of that, and using that technology that, it, you know, machine learning, as they call it, it adjusts the phone. And basically, by adjusting the phone, it pretty much, some app that they know you're not going to use, they're going to make that app, those apps go to sleep. So it's not draining your battery in the background. And the best way to think about this is this. Android, one of the things when they first came out that made them different, if I may say, from iOS was the fact that it had the ability to multitask. And the reason why it had the ability to multitask or one of the um, core functions for doing that or one of the ways they went about doing that was uh, having apps run in the background. Now, the apps that ran in the bunk, uh, background, some of them will consume more or less power and over time, as these Android software kind of the over, let's see, as the Android software developed and improved, it started trying to find a way to handle that because the way that people used to handle themselves is they would use this thing called an app killer to try to kill the apps that would run in the background because they was worried that those apps may be sucking away their battery life. The problem is with Android is meant to run in the background, how we'll have apps run in the background. That way when you pick the or that way you load that app, it's ready to go. And it don't take as long to open that app. It's like once you go back to the app that you were using, it's like it's ready to go and it feels like it was always there, ready to go. So because Android have apps always running in the background, you do at times have some parasitic apps that may suck on battery life or take away resources. Now, some apps have to because it's constantly feeding information to other apps. For example, your location information may feed to, you know, depend on, let's say, your camera or Twitter or depend on when you're using that location services. Same thing with other services that Google run in the background. They may be feeding to each other information that it needs to kind of help you do the task. That said, again, we're trying to get the most out of our phones. You know, where especially now with these phone screens getting larger, uh, you got, you know, better processing power. We're looking at better screens, brighter screens, uh, better displays. It, these phones are constantly improving. And, you know, the way we use our phones, especially with a lot of us on social media and, you know, using media in general, it is consuming power. So it has to find a way to help you as a consumer get through your day, you know, without having to constantly run and grab a charger. Because that's pretty much a, one of the things that we judge these phones on. How long can we go on a charge? One of the things I will say about Samsung, even though I don't like this software, a lot of their phones are real good with battery life. You know, this for this to be a phone that folds open and it's like works in tablet mode and all this stuff, I can easily get through a day on a charge on this phone, no matter what I'm doing, I am really ever looking for a charge when I use this phone. Now, I am still working my way through the Pixel 6, but I will say this, or this is a 6 Pro, it do not have the, as, um, it don't have as good a battery life as my Z Fold 2. That said, I'm still loving this phone on my Z Fold 2. So, in general, with adaptive battery, is meant to do is allow you to extend your battery life by trying to kill the apps that you're not using so that you can get through it. So the reason why some people may want to turn that on and off because the simple fact that while it's learning, it, it, it may, you know, actually consume some resources. It, you know, some people just don't, don't like it. They feel like, you know, they don't need Google software to 
you know, interfere or decide what apps they want to run in the background. And so some people like to turn that off. And another reason why, because at first when they first introduced adaptive battery to Android, it actually did more to kill the battery at times than it did to help. So, but that was just early on. So some people just have this mindset that like, they may be used to that and worried that this is going to be more of a hindrance. So they'd rather just turn that off. Same thing with adaptive charging. Now, adaptive charging is actually new to the Pixel 6, and I'm pretty sure the 6 Pro as well. And the game, or the purpose of this is so that when you charge your battery overnight, it slows it down so that it's not just, you know, um, overheating the battery, and as a result, it extends your battery life. Well, people now holding on to their phones a little bit longer because these phones are designed to. We're wanting to see these phones make it that long. You know, with my Pixel 3 XL, with me having to send my phone back to Google because the battery swelled up. And these are concerns that people have that I need my battery. Or I want my battery to make it two, three years. Especially since that you got to realize that even though you may just attend and have or attend or have your phone for a year or a year and a half, you know, when you trade your phone in or sell it to someone, well, they're using that phone to continue their life. So it helps if you have a phone like this that has a longer life. And, you know, stuff like this kind of helps with that. And, uh, you know, same way it go if you don't sell your phone. You know, let's be honest, you know, some people, if they have children or family members, when they are done with a phone and they kept it in good condition, they'll give that same phone to a family member. And so, again, you want to see that phone continue to last and be as useful and helpful for the next person. Because again, you know, these phones are, are awesome. And you know, Google have been doing a good job lately of making these phones better by continuing to update it as far as software. Now, one other thing that I may have missed yesterday that I probably should have went over 